Good morning and welcome to Friday's edition of Weaning with Monty and we're on week four. Porridge is on the menu this morning for breakfast and later on at lunchtime we've got tuna, pasta and peas. So it's going to be his first time trying tuna so it'll be interesting to see how he gets on. He had salmon yesterday for the second time and he'd had quite a few vomits the day before. Yesterday there were no vomits so I assume it was probably just a heat issue more than anything. But obviously it's cooled down quite a lot now so hopefully things will be more settled. And today I said I'd talk a bit about how long should meal times last and that's a really good question. And really it's up to your baby to decide. You'll know with your little one when you're playing with them or doing activities their attention span is very small. Well Monty's is anyway. Um, so Monty's attention span is probably no more than 10 to 15 minutes so definitely limiting a meal time to that. If you start dragging it on longer than that um, it can become quite frustrating, it can become quite stressful and can cause anxiety for the little ones as well. So trying to limit it to a maximum of about 10 minutes at this stage and that's important really as you go forward because as they get older you really want to limit meal times to about 20 to 30 minutes. We find generally with sort of fussy eaters when they're maybe around three, four, five, um, we find that sometimes parents say, let's stay here at the table till it's finished. And actually we know that's not necessarily a good way of doing things um, and trying to limit meal times where you can to 20 to 30 minutes is a good thing. Um, otherwise it eats up into your whole evening and also the food isn't gonna be pleasant if it's been left for that long out, is it? So for his age, I would limit meal times to a maximum of about 10 minutes, making it a really fun experience um, and a really positive experience. And as they get older, limiting it to a maximum of about 20 to 30 minutes. So I hope that's helpful. And Gemma's asked me tomorrow, I'll cover a bit of information around meat portions because I spoke about the fish portions yesterday. So I'll cover meat options tomorrow as well for you and appropriate portions throughout the ages. And I hope that's helpful. As ever, get in touch with any queries at latchtoladle.com.